Hey Deckers, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart PC version is finally here, verified ahead of time on Steam Deck and this one actually deserves the title. Don't mind the audio stutter during the PlayStation Studios intro, that's just their issue, everything else is running perfectly fine in this one. I do have to say that this is a 30 frames per second game, however it does look absolutely glorious with our settings, although you will need a couple of tweaks. Insomniac Games and Nix's Studios have done an absolutely awesome job with this port. I really am impressed at how well this runs. Now for this video I did have to turn my frame rate limit off while docked for some reason. It did seem to mess up the frames per second but bear in mind for the best performance you are going to want to set the frame rate limit on the Steam Deck to 30 as well as the settings that I'll show you in just a second. But first a bit of gameplay. You'll notice that this does look glorious, considering this is a special PlayStation title that needed a special PlayStation SSD, I can vouch that that is definitely not the case and this runs fantastically smoothly on the Steam Deck. There are a couple of issues with some load times which I'll show in a minute, but the graphics at 30 frames per second are absolutely awesome. Cutscenes as well have no issue playing. I did have a very minor issue in one of the earlier sections where it, the audio and video was very slightly out of sync but it soon corrected itself during the scene. There is also some very small blips with the FPS during some of these loading scenes. You'll see it dipped under 26 there very briefly during some of the loading sections and that is also the case during the initial loading sequence of this game but overall it does run perfectly fine. Now you would have noticed that as I went through that rift and as we go through again, it does take a little bit longer to load than you would expect. And this is the SSD speed of the Steam Deck itself. I do have it installed on the actual SSD. I don't recommend installing this one on the SD card as those load times could be really long. Although if you have managed it, let us know what this is like. I'm also running the Steam Deck beta which definitely seems to be running this slightly smoother than the current stable branch. If you're not seeing this super stable 30 with these settings, then do try the beta branch. For the best settings for this one then, I am running the medium preset with motion blur completely turned off, as well as FSR 2.1 enabled and dynamic resolution set to 30. Now, I was very impressed with the dynamic resolution combined with FSR 2.1 on this one but without the two together it does look very fuzzy and just about holds 30 or with them together you can get a very smooth clean image with a perfectly stable 30 and around an hour and a half battery life. No FSR quality mode for this one as it did look quite blurry. I'll leave you with a little bit more of the gameplay here without me talking so you can get a better feel for the game and performance. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Where did you even?